We have Tim and the Glory Boys on Pure Country. How are you guys? Where are you guys? We are great. <laughs> yes. And we are in Sydney, British Columbia, on Vancouver Island. Okay. What are you guys up to right now? Because I feel like usually when I talk to you, you're either like getting ready to go somewhere to play a show. You're very rarely in one place for too long. <laughs> yeah. We just try to make it look like we're busy whenever you call, Shannon. <laughs> run to the bus it's just parked out back <laughs> in the, in the backyard. <laughs> yeah. yeah no we're we're on tour right now yeah we're at the beginning of a of a run on the on the island and mm -hmm. um we're on tour a lot lately and it's a wonderful thing because we had a lot of time off <laughs> so it's yes. it's yeah, so good to be like, back and we did that? a lot of zooms in the pandemic so it's nice yes. to see yes. you guys on the road yes. again there, it's a little weird getting back to the zooms a little bit of ptsd here but I think COVID is over, so we're good. <laughs> I know. I always say that. I'm like, as much as I understand Zoom is awesome and it's great that I can talk to you guys like when exciting stuff has happened, no matter like where you guys are, but I definitely miss seeing everyone in person. Like, yeah, right totally. I just wish I had like a jet pack and I could just be in British Columbia right now to hang out with you. <laughs> uh, I probably need more than a jet pack, but um Maybe. What has it been like now that you are back out on the road? I feel like you guys are getting to do what every artist is doing right now, playing songs that you released over the last two years and never really got to play for anyone. So is it strange, you know, them being out for so long and fans know all the words, but you maybe have never played to that audience before? Yeah, I, th I think you nailed it. It's, it's, it's a strange thing. I think it's strange however you get into the music industry, people knowing your songs is is strange it's the most wonderful strange there is but having the pandemic kind of uh incubate another couple years worth of of singles it's cool for us to be a new band and have so many of our songs known by so many of the new fans that have never seen us before mm, yeah and uh and this run has kind of been no exception we're always you know wondering what's next touring kind of became this like two or three weeks at a time gamble over the pandemic and now it's uh it's happened for almost the full year where we've had tours that were planned and then executed and we actually did them. Yeah. And that, that just, that just feels unbelievable. It feels like it's harder to even remember the stuff that we've done over the past like six to seven months, because it was so um, like unheard of to go out on tour, you know, go to events. Uh, so when they've actually happened, you're like, did we actually play those shows or did we just dream about it? Or it really? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> like everything, it's in that time warp of yeah. 2020, 2023. And, and man, we're all just so grateful to be on the other side, still doing what we love. Like it is, and to have this single uh, is, you know, obviously we, we don't live and die by the singles really, but emotionally we kind of do. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely like a, we're on the high of, okay, we have new music out, things are happening. And um, and people like you want to talk to us and we're so grateful. <laughs> I do, I do. Okay, Take Me Back Road, let's talk about it. How did you, which it's awesome by the way, let me just start with that. Um, I was jamming to it while I was getting ready today. But how did you guys finally decide it was the right moment to collaborate with mm -hmm. High Valley, Brad Remble? Because you know, a lot of people might not know this, I know this, but that's been a friendship that has been very long standing, and you guys, yeah. you know, not even just in a business sense, but just as friends, you guys go way back. So, what was it about this song that made you go, okay, this is the right time, this is the right song, let's go for it? Yeah, um, you know, most of the songs up till this point have been very romantic songs, and we thought <laughs> having Brad on a romance song could be a little weird. Um, but He's got really good hair, you know, you could, yeah, right, our, our self esteem collectively couldn't take it if we had to share the stage or the song with brad Rampel, so exactly no romance with brad <laughs> yeah oh uh, but this song um was actually written by brad um john knight and ben stennis and so we had cut it i think a couple years ago yeah almost two years ago so we've been sitting on it for a long time and it was finally the moment where everything's kind of snowballed you know we released flow we've had these kind of fun summer silly songs and this was kind of the time to release more of a, a legit country feeling kind of vibe of the song and having yeah. Brad on there really kind of put that stamp of, you know, High Valley and Canadian country and obviously US country that he's in kind of sealed the deal with this one. So it was kind of the, felt like the perfect song for him to be on. And where was it? Cause I've seen some like 
pictures and stuff of you guys filming and shooting for this song where i'm assuming british columbia because it looked pretty beautiful yeah. whereabouts yeah. did you guys do that we took it back road to okay. uh fitting yeah, thanks. <laughs> to, <laughs> to my hometown of chilliwack okay. uh, chilliwack is 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 two different sort of places well it's several but it's mostly like flatland and then there's the mm -hmm. the mountains and the plateau that i live on called rider lake and we shot it on the on the flats, which have this incredible mountain backdrop. And uh, we happened to luck out on the perfect day and got to just make the most chillawacky music video of all time. <laughs> that is a term <laughs> I have never heard, and I probably never will hear again. No, uh, no, I think it's entering the lexicon. <laughs> yeah, as of right now. <laughs> okay, when I listened to this song, it immediately made me think of my like favorite back road that I've driven down in my life. Cause I feel like everyone has like, when you think of a back road right now in your head, there's one that comes to mind. Um, what is it for each of you? Because you all kind of grew up in different places. Do you mm -hmm. have a back road that when you, you know, go, okay, you want to drive down on a beautiful sunny day with all the windows open. What is each of your favorite back road? Great question. Ben, it's your turn. Man. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to take the easy answer. I, I grew up on a dirt road just north of Selkirk, Manitoba, that kind of stretched like the whole width of town. And so, like, if I was coming back from gigs playing late night in, like, Winnipeg back in the day before I was with these guys, you'd always come back back home the same way off of Highway 4 and turn down the dirt road. And so that one's kind of sentimental for me. That's yeah. the first one that comes up. Great answer. Yeah, that's a good answer. <laughs> so you probably have good. so many memories on that back road. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's right. still dirt. All the roads are still dirt. Still. Yeah, yeah, it's they don't even have the internet. No, no. <laughs> oh, okay, Tim. So what about smart. you? What's your favorite? You know what? Uh, I I know it's a song about nostalgic back roads, but I I and during the pandemic, I moved out to the country. I uh, I started playing country music, and I decided I needed to have a a pedigree to match, and it also lined up with our plan. But it was uh. It's a it's a place I mentioned in Ryder Lake, which is just to the outskirts of Chilliwack, that has a uh, paved road all the way up to the last section of the dead end road that I live on. And then it turns to gravel for about a quarter of a kilometer, just for my driveway and a couple others. And as soon as I hit that, I can feel the rumble of the tires. I know I'm home. My like I get excited mm -hmm. that the kids can hear the car on the gravel. And it's just this moment of back road kind of bliss that I get to have multiple times a week when I'm home. It's awesome. Oh, I love that. We also just moved out to the country like in December mm. because we were craving that same feeling that I think a yeah. lot of people know what that's like. As soon as you get yeah. in the country, there's like a different vibe. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. All right, Colin, what about you? Favorite back road? Uh, yeah, where I grew up in Manitoba, a small town called Bozier, our road was gravel. They did pave it one day, which was very exciting, but it was gravel and it used to lead us to our home and my grandparents' place, which was right on the river. And we spent a lot of time there. So nostalgic vibes for me take me right, right to that road all the time. I love that. I immediately mm. thought back to, I grew up in like Schaumburg, Ontario, farm country, King Town. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. there's this like one back road that I have so many memories, both good and bad on. And it makes me think of that because I used to like on really cold days, typical like Canadian spring where it's freezing cold, but the sun is shining. And yeah. we would just like go down that road and roll all the windows down and like crank yes. music as loud as we can. <laughs> you, would, you would crank what kind of music? Ace of Bass probably? I mean, I do love Ace of Bass. You know, there, there probably was a, a time where that was crank. Maybe like some ABBA, um, okay. Little Hanson. No, definitely country. Um, yeah. Sometimes like yeah, ACDC thunderstruck down a back road, but I, I got a lot of speeding tickets on that back road. I'm not yeah, sure. really? You shouldn't listen to ACDC and drive on a back no, road, man. That was my first mistake. So right. this my next question, um, when you are driving down a back road, are mm -hmm. you someone who likes to just enjoy the peace and quiet and the sounds of nature, or are you cranking music as loud as you can? Obviously, we encourage everyone to drive down back roads listening to Take me back road, yes. but uh, and and high valley. But what is your your choice? Are you going silence or? Mm. Uh, I, I I prefer music usually. Yeah, same. Yeah. That's funny. I'm like a talk radio guy. Like oh. we listen to so much music. I love to be on like 
Yeah, like, well, that's romantic. Yeah. Getting the scores. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hearing the buzz. Yeah. Yeah. AM sports radio. I mean, there yeah, there's a time for that. I don't know if a background. <laughs> no, but but... He he records it from like the 80s and yeah. the 50s and Yeah, it's my really retro games <laughs> from like the <laughs> This is a, this is a whole nother conversation we need to like yes start this and, and discuss talk radio later for sure. Getting scientific on yeah. the background. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay. Etiquette, protocol. But, what does this mean for you guys this year? Are we going to get like a whole bunch more new music from you or are you guys spending a little more time on the road? Mm. Uh, yes, both. Yeah, okay. Both A and B. We are, uh, we're making lots of music. We're releasing an album, our first album with Sony, our first album uh, signed as a, as a yeah. side band. So that's very exciting. On top of this, when is that? April, April 21st. 21st. Yeah. So that's, I mean, for us, that's, that's, feels like tomorrow and uh we can't wait for people to have a body of work from us instead sure. of three or four singles it's 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 mm -hmm. it's so nice to have everybody concentrated on a few songs um obviously that's why we release singles but the the album thing we feel like an album band i think at heart yeah. and so for people to get that full experience we can't wait so that's happening and then we're yeah we're touring non-stop we yeah. we have summer festivals um, one of the ones we're really excited about that we've never played at as a band is uh, Dauphin oh. Country Fest. Growing up in Manitoba, we just didn't get a chance to go or we just heard about it. It's legendary. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever go? No, no I never went. Um, you've been to Dauphin yeah, Country Fest. Yeah. But we're the boys that moved away and never got through. So now we're coming back to homecoming. Yeah. Like Manitoba's right. big little country fest. Can't wait. That's awesome. All right. Well, hopefully next time we get to chat, we'll be in person. But thank you guys yes. so much for doing this. Tim and the Glory Boys, go check out their new song, Take Me Back Road, featuring High Valley. Thanks for hanging out with us on Pure Country. Mm -hmm.